Hey guys, um, so I am um, having just taught you the two by two. I'm gonna teach you the three by three, and the three by three. In order to understand this, you must have seen my two by two tutorial, and the reason why is because you're gonna solve all the corners the same way you would on the two by two. So it's gonna be much easier to learn the two by two first, and then learn this. Okay, now. There is one more thing. So the three by three, I mean the two by two is like the three by three, but it only has corners. So it's like it has invisible edges and invisible centers. And when I say edge and center, I mean that there are three types of pieces. These pieces here are corner pieces. These pieces here are edge pieces. And these pieces in the middle are center pieces. So the two by two by two is like the three by three with invisible edges and invisible centers. So any turn like this, is insignificant and you turn like this is like turning aside and then you turn like this is like turning aside and the notation is the same the same letters for each side the same kind of thing and you really do not need to know anything new okay now let's get into the scramble Okay, so the goal of this step is to get these four white edges next to the yellow center. However, it doesn't matter if these pieces match or not. Okay, so the first step is to find the yellow center piece and then put the four white edge pieces next to it. So this step is completely intuitive and you should not learn any algorithms. I see this white and green edge can be put in place and this white and orange edge can be put in place and this white and red edge can be put in place and this white and blue edge can be rotated here so that it can be put in place okay now we have grouped four white edges next to our yellow center okay and I'm gonna do some more examples of this as this step can be quite difficult, as it is very intuitive. Okay, so I have located my yellow center, and I see this white piece that can go here. I see this white piece that can go there. I see this white piece that can rotate here and go up. And I see this white piece, which is flipped in place. So we need to rotate it to the middle, rotate, this here and then put this in its desired position imagine that you get an edge flipped in its place like over here in that case what you want to do is bring it to the middle layer bring its desired slot up and then put it in place okay so the next step is to solve the white cross So here's what you want to do. As you can see here, we have four white pieces currently next to the yellow center. So what you want to do is join one of the pieces, one of the white pieces of the center below it. So these two blue pieces are joined up. And now what you need to do is bring those pieces to the white side. Let's do the same with the orange, join up and bring down, bring down, join up and bring down. That is probably the easiest step, and now we have solved our white cross. Okay, so the goal of this next step is to solve the first layer. And this step is really easy, as you would just do it the same way that you would on my 2x2 two two tutorial. So, effectively, I can skip this step. Okay, so the goal of this next step is to solve this next layer. 
so we will solve everything except the top layer will be totally scrambled and here we will have um, two layers solved so as you can see we now have our first layer solved and what we want to do is solve these edges the go in between these centers to solve the middle layer so what you want to do is look on the top layer and find an edge that has no yellow on it so for example this blue and red piece has no yellow on it however this yellow and green piece does have yellow on it next bring this piece above the center below it and then check if it needs to go to the right or to the left in this case it needs to do the right so we need to do a simple algorithm that goes up clockwise right clockwise up anti-clockwise right anti-clockwise front clockwise right anti-clockwise front anti-clockwise right clockwise and that puts the piece in its position however now it needs to go to the left so we need to do the mirror image of the algorithm along this axis so any right clockwise or right anti-clockwise turn here's how we do the mirror image this is the right clockwise and this is its mirror image so we are turning the left anti-clockwise and the way i know that it's anti-clockwise is if i hold the side straight on i'm turning it anti-clockwise and i bring the white up however when i do the mirror image of that and bring the white up on this side i actually turn it clockwise so the mirror image of a right turn is a left turn in the opposite direction and the mirror image of an up turn is obviously in the opposite direction and same goes for a front turn now this piece needs to go to the left so we do the mirror image of the algorithm the mirror image goes up anti-clockwise left anti-clockwise up left front anti-clockwise left front left anti-clockwise next i see this piece and it needs to go to the left again so we need to do our lefty algorithm up anti-clockwise left anti-clockwise up left front anti-clockwise left front left anti-clockwise and now we don't have any pieces on the top that don't have yellow on them so what you want to do is use one of your algorithms and pretend like you're inserting this piece in here and that kicks the piece in here out and brings it to the top layer so that you can insert it in so do our algorithm our righty algorithm to take this piece out and now this piece will be on the top layer and it needs to go to the right so we need to do the first algorithm now that inserts it in okay so the goal of this next step is to put the yellow pieces facing upwards however it doesn't matter if these pieces here are matching it doesn't matter at all we just need the yellow pieces facing upwards so i'll show you how to do that the first case is if you get zero edges facing upwards in that case just do the algorithm front right up right anti-clockwise up anti-clockwise front anti-clockwise then you'll have the case where you get two edges oriented you can put one on the left a solved one on the left then make sure that the one facing you is unsolved and then do your algorithm front right up right anti-clockwise up anti-clockwise front anti-clockwise and then again unsolved on the left unsolved on the front and then do your algorithm and eventually that will solve your um your yellow edges to get the cube to a position like this where you only need to solve the edges you have to solve the corners like a two by two okay now i will show you how to solve to completion okay so um we are 
gonna aim to get salt sides. So, um, in this case, we have no salt sides. If we get no salt sides, we need to do this algorithm once. Right Two times, up, right, up, right anti-clockwise, up anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, up anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, up, right anti-clockwise. And we have to do that once to get a soft side. Okay, so now that's out of the way, what we need to do is put our soft side on the back and then repeat that algorithm until the rest of the cube is solved. So we have to do right two times, up, right, up, right anti-clockwise, up anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, up anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, up, right anti-clockwise. And we still have our solved side, however, we do need to do that again. And that solves the rest of the cube. Okay. Bye.